Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Sam and Max the Road. Let me just fix this stupid thing. Oh, what the hell? Um... What's happening? Kinda scared. Okay, that's better. Still don't know what just happened. According to the plaque, this is a shaving from the first foot of the ball of twine. I didn't know it was old enough to shave. Fun facts about the world's largest ball of twine. If laid out from end to end, the ball would stretch from here to the far side of Jupiter. Also, scientists theorize that by 2053, the sheer weight of the ball will push the Earth out of its orbit. It's like propelling our planet on a collision course with the sun. Good thing my life expectancy is only six years. Way to take the short view, little buddy. I can't cut off a piece of twine in the middle. That would destroy its status as the biggest ball of twine in the world. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. He looks like my eighth grade English teacher, but with more warmth. It's a 1 200,000th scale model of the actual ball of twine. And it's only 1 200,000th as stupid as the actual ball of twine. Do you work here? Yep, have been for 40 years. So how can I help you? Let's see. This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep, it's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. How'd you get this job anyway? I clawed my way to the top, trampling those foolish enough to get in my way. <laughs> Stop staring at me. I can't help it. It's places like this that make me wish I were Canadian. Well, they've got one of these too, but half of it's French. What's with all the fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant has fresh fish flown in every day from the world of fish in Mosquitoville, Missouri. As Conroy Bumpus passed through here. Who's that? Never mind then. He's a country western star gone berserk with power. I wouldn't know him if I saw him. I don't get out much. That'll be all for now. Yet, yeah, not surprisingly enough, he's not very useful. But I think the idea that he clawed his way to the top is hilarious. Trampling anyone stupid Take enough to a get leg, in his way. Max. Hey, look!
That's one long loose end. Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. It's a conveniently located pair of mounted binoculars. I can't pick that up. I'm sure this is somehow useful, but I'll be damned if I know how. These exposed wires look like they're part of the restaurant control mechanism. They look like overcooked pasta to me, Sam. of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Uh, maybe not. Still not useful. I'm sure this is somehow useful, but I'll be damned if I know how. He's not my type. He looks safe enough. Could you bend this? He already looks pretty twisted. What you doing? Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? To help me fix the rotating mechanism on this f***ing diner. Well, that makes sense. What are these malformed tools good for? Lots of things. Like scratching those hard to reach places. Mm. Every place is hard for me to reach. Would you like a free sample? Sure. Go ahead and take this one. Thanks. Hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to appeal to kids. Get bent. How do you bend these tools anyway? You think I'm going to spill my f***ing secrets to you two mama Lukes? Percent sign, Amersand, dollar sign. And colon, semicolon, too. What are you f***ing doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. Well, bye. Well, this is handy. I've got to use this elevator. That was wholesome. Not to mention physically improbable. I must be happy. I must be I'm I'm I must be happy. I can't use these things to get I can't use these things to I can't use the Okay, so now we got a ring. Mood ring. A ring of moodness.
also have Mindy Wrench. That did the trick. Now we just need Max to get his ass in here. Hey Max, climb in this fish. You first. Okay. It's kind of wobbly in here. Hey Max, come here. Here I come. One must admire the skill with which the wily uber trout stalks its prey. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. Holy trout. I had always thought you were made of plaster. Pay no attention to the hand that just came out. What do we do, Sam? I'm thinking. What's that noise? It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. So I think we just killed Willie Allen. And he hasn't done anything worthwhile in years, so it probably doesn't really count as a big loss. And then again, this game was made in the 90s. And maybe he had a movie or something around... Or a good movie around now and then? I don't know. I don't think I've ever actually seen a Woody Allen movie. I told you I had a plan. Hey, Max, I've got another plan. Hooray! I think I liked you better when you were clueless. Shut up and climb over the rail. See? That wasn't so bad. What are you two doing out here? Okay. Any more bright ideas? Let's start crying like babies. Galileo was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. Hey, how will we get our car back? Wait for it. Don't ask. Sometimes it's better not knowing. Sometimes it just won't make you feel better either way. Alligators and golfing together. It's brilliant. Ain't it? Wish I thought of it. Fact is, this place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in 89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Next thing I knew, I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with 10-foot-long gators. I hate when that happens. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range.
Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the end clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Isn't that dangerous? Take a look. Yes. So what kind of handicap does your average Bigfoot have? Bigfoots? Don't get me started about Bigfoots. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. I kept him fed and sheltered. And how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? No, he ran away. Oh, that would have been have a second help? idea. Well, someone must have given him that there acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. <laughs> protective ankle wear? Okay, shackles. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? That's a fair question. It's about time they close this senseless, cruel, politically incorrect attraction. It was my favorite. Like you've ever been here before. Max, let's go. Move your arse. And the proprietor has no idea what happened to his Bigfoot? That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Ditto? <sighs> Hey, look it! It's those two, uh, what was that word, Sam? Misanthropes? Yeah, misanthropes! I've got what a are you, club. anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country and western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. And I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. Maybe you should watch yourself, little furball. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Okay, I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. At least not three times. Hold still, you flea-bitten polecat. Here you go, boss. They're not very good fighters. What a jerk. It's a nice five iron, though. Nice alligators. Do you like roaches? Fine. I don't remember what I used them for. I do know that I need to replace it with this. Okay, I might have screwed that up. Or... Hey! Hmm... Not quite what I was hoping for. You can see what I'm doing, right? See, that's not helpful. There 
we go. Do you like roaches? Get back there. something. No, I'm not, there's no real reason to do this. Yes, I'm going to do it anyway. This game's got achievements, but if it did, I'm sure this would be one of them. across the driving range. Of course I did. Thankfully, gators are very chill. Jeez, that well. certainly took long enough. Shut up, Max. I hate that game. Is that because you're a lousy golfer? You're an irritable bunny today, aren't you? Yeah, well, why don't you try sitting in this smelly booth while I beat the hell out of helpless fish? Maybe I should just leave you there. Did I mention what a lousy golfer you were? Hey, knock it off! Never. What? I found another sample of Sasquatch fur in Mange in the booth, while I spent my young life waiting, just sitting there, in that horrible booth, waiting. Jeez, Max, get over it. Okay. Okay. Here, you carry it. I'd better. I'm not sure where you'd put it. It's none of your damn business, Sam. That's none of your business, Sam. It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Goldwump, Washington. See? Let me see! Take a look. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Like this? Yeah. What's that writing on the bottom of the globe? To Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep on trucking. Shavuul the Mole Man. 
Hey, maybe Shavul's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. Well, okay then. Sam, this place is making my head ping. That's probably just the metal plate in your head. I love that his mouth moves when he says, when he goes ping. Who knows what makes these inanimate objects dance their infernal jitterbug? I do, I do. I think they're controlled by a series of really big magnets under the Earth's crust. You're an ignorant dolt, Max. Good lord! It's a possessed outhouse! This kind of thing wouldn't happen if they had indoor plumbing. I don't have to go. Besides, it'd be very difficult to do. Play it again, Sam. Of all the Dali-esque tourist traps in the world, we had to walk into this one. It's the seamy underbelly of water. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I can't reach the doorknob. Help me! I told you this place was controlled by giant magnets buried under the Earth's crust. Lucky guess. more of an orange maybe Turning your head inside out, Max. I can't. Let's leave. <laughs> okay, wrong, wrong door. Maybe it was the red one. Oh, 
Welcome to hell. I'm Sam. He's Max. We bust punks. And we're overachievers. That's cool, man. <laughs> I'm Shavul. What do you want with me? Hey, Sam, look! Well, this bottled water is a real letdown. We want to pick your brain. Ooh, ooh, let me pick it, Sam. Not like that. What do you know about Bruno? Bruno the Bigfoot? Why do people keep asking that question? Bruno and I go way back. I've always felt a special kinship with Bigfoots. I feel the same way about pointy sticks. Shh. I haven't thought about Bruno for years. Allow me a moment to karmically link myself to him. If you must. Hold on, I'm getting something. I see Frog Rock between the inexplicable Valley of Lights and Mount Badrich. Wait, man, Bruno's in trouble. It's like several voices screaming out in terror and then suddenly silence. It's okay, Lucas Darf. Sorry, game. guys, but I can't get a clear psychic image of Bruno. The sad truth is that I haven't been able to concentrate very well since I lost my mood ring in the biggest ball of twine in the world. If you find it for me, maybe I can help you. Is this it? Is this your ring? Cool, man. Have you found Frog Rock yet? No, but I don't see how finding it's going to get me any closer to finding Bruno. Finding Frog Rock's only the beginning, man. Once you're at Frog Rock, you'll need some samples. Samples? Yeah, man. Bigfoot samples. You know, fur and stuff. Three of them. Smear them all over Frog Rock. Put the fur on the rock. Got it. Let's go, Max. Wait. You'll also need some Mystic Mole Man powder. You Here's must be little. joking. No joke, man. Here, I'll get you some. Here you go. Sprinkle this Mystic Mole Man powder over the fur when you've smeared it all over Frog Rock. What'll happen then? Something wonderful. Thanks. Okay. Let's go, Max. Anyway, let's call it a video here. I'm the Blues32. This is Sam and Max Hit the Road. TTFN.